Good day engineers. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang i-discuss natin will be eccentrically loaded shallow foundation. So dito sa topic natin na to, i-discuss natin kung paano kayo nakuha yung ultimate bearing capacity kung sakaling yung foundation natin is meron ng sinusupport na eccentricity or meron na siyang moment. So start natin yung topic on this introductory concepts. So for this video, we will be start discussing kung paano nagkakaroon ng eccentricity yung foundation natin. So syempre, we'll start with this figure. Ito. So as you can see, coming from the columns, syempre ita-transfer niya yung loads papunta dun sa footing natin and papunta dun sa foundation or yung mismong soil. So, syempre, ang tendency sa structural analysis is ganito. Pwede kasi natin gawin na i-pin connect or pin support yung footing natin for the foundation. And, pwede rin gawin na gawin siyang fixed support. So at times, pag ginawa natin yung pin support, ang tendency niyan is ang itatransfer lang natin sa foundation will be an actual load. P. Then, kung ginawa na, naman natin yung fixed support, ang tendency niyan is magkakaroon siya ng actual load and moment. So, may moment din siya on the other side. Yung uh, parallel sa atin na moment or yung parallel on your screens na moment. So, dun nangyayari na nagkakaroon ng eccentricity or moment dun sa footing natin. Isa pang tendency is kapag ginawa natin pin support pero hindi nagko-coincide yung CG ng column at CG ng footing or yung center of gravity ng footing at yung center of gravity ng column. So, later on, on the other sample, ipapakita ko kung paano nangyayari yun. So, let's uh, just focus now on this part na kung saan uh, yung fixed support is nag-transfer siya ng moment dun sa ating foundation. So, ang tendency nito, dito tayo nagkakaroon ng eccentricity due to this moment. Yung moment kasi na to is pwede natin siyang gawin na actual load pero syempre pag ginawa natin siyang actual load it will cause an eccentricity ano nga ba yung eccentricity kasi si eccentricity siya na yung distance from the CG of footing to the actual load kung saan siya papatong so ibig sabihin yung moment natin is mako-convert into an actual load P and it will cause an eccentricity so that is T so doon nangyayari na nagkakaroon tayo ng moment transfer papunta doon sa putting it's either naka fixed support yung uh, putting natin on the structural analysis or naka pin support pero ayun nga hindi nagko coincide yung CG ng putting at CG ng column so dako tayo doon sa sinasabi ko na hindi nagko coincide yung CG ng footing and CG ng column. So, ito siya. So, dito nangyayari na hindi nagko-coincide sila. So, this is the top view ng footing natin. Ito. As you can see, yung column natin is nandito na part. So, nandito siya sa left side, pero center. So, ang nangyayari is nang, ah, uh, Nangyayari to kapag uh, meron ng lat boundary dun sa tatayuan ng structure natin. So, for example, ito yung lat boundary. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na pwedeng i-center yung column dun sa footing natin. So, ang nangyayari is nagiging uh, nasa side siya. So, as you can see on this figure as well, ah, uh, kung ito yung CG ng footing or yung center of gravity ng column rather, 
ang nangyayari is ito yung CG ng footing. So, ibig sabihin, kung magkakaroon tayo ng transfer of loads, so, kahit nakapin pa yan, so, let's say, ginawa mong pin support, yung uh, footing mo on your structural analysis. So, ang mangyayari, actual load lang yung transfer niya. Pero, ang nangyayari sa actual load is, kung actual load siya, P. So, ang tendency is magkakaroon siya ng eccentricity papunta dun sa footing mo, which is ito. So, syempre, kailangan natin i-transfer yung actual load papunta dun sa, uh, papunta dun sa footing kasi galing siyang columns. So, ang mangyayari is ganito. So, kung ito si P, dumaan siya sa center of gravity ng column mo, pero nandito ang center of gravity ng footing. So, we will use the principle of transmissibility. So, ang tendency is uh, maglalagay tayo dito ng isa pang actual load. Pero, syempre, kung naglagay tayo ng actual load dyan, lalagyan din natin yung nasa ibabaw niya para pwede silang mag-cancel out. Pero, ang tendency nun, syempre, kung this is a transfer from column to footing, so, ang tendency, may iwan yung actual load na to and this two will become a couple. So, it will cause a moment. So, doon nangyayari na meron kang actual load and a moment. Kasi yung moment dito is due to the couple wherein meron siyang actual load P and the eccentricity E. So, kahit ipin support mo pa yung footing mo on the structural analysis, ang tendency niya is mag-transfer pa rin ng moment Papunta sa, uh, papunta sa footing kasi nga hindi nag-coincide yung center of gravity ng column at yung center of gravity ng footing natin. So, doon nangyayari na nagkakaroon ng eccentricity sa footing natin. Or, doon nangyayari na nagkakaroon ng transfer of moments papunta doon sa footing natin. It's either because of the fixed support from structural analysis ginawa nating fixed support yung footing or it's either caused by a pin support pero the CG of column and the CG of footing is not coinciding. So, doon nangyayari yung pagkakaroon ng eccentricity or ng moment doon sa footing natin or foundation. So, ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung tinatawag na kern. So, yung kern, siya kasi yung shaded portion na to na on saan may distance siya from CG nung footing natin na kung ito yung side B at ito yung side L. So, ang distance niya is laging 1 sixth from left and 1 sixth from right. So, ibig sabihin, yung kung B to, we have B over 6 on the upper part na distance and B over 6 on the lower part. And if this is L, we have here the L over 6 and the L over 6 dito sa part na to. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na E sub K or that is the current distance. So, it's either of the two it's either B over 6 or DL over 6. So, madalas nyo nakikita to, yung B over 6 and L over 6 sa overturnings ng dams on your uh, fluid mechanics. Meron din to sa part ng buoyancy, yung hinahanap yung meta centers. So, parang ganun din kasi yung purpose ng current distance or nung kern sa footing. Dito kasi natin nalalaman ano yung magiging pressure na ikokos nung footing mo or nung tinransfer mong load galing sa foundation or galing sa columns papunta sa foundation. Kasi dito natin nalalaman kung ano yung possible diagram na pwedeng gamitin 
uh, or pwedeng mag-result dahil dun sa moment na transfer from column to footing or the foundation. So, i-discuss natin yon on our next video. For this video, ito lang muna yung i-discuss natin on what is the kern distance. So, for, uh, that's all for this video regarding the introductory concept nung uh, eccentrically loaded shallow foundation. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.